These are Belgian shoes. Nay, they are Belgian slippers, and I hate them. Now, if you've been here before, you know I use the word hate pretty loosely and for clickbait purposes. But I do want to answer the question, should you buy expensive shoes? And I think the Belgian slipper slash shoe or whatever you want to say is the perfect example of the expensive shoe that maybe, maybe you should look into buying and investing in. Now, I have a huge hate, love, relationship with these beauties, and let me explain why. But first, my name is Timothy Sands, and this is Fashionable Father. If you're one of the lucky early subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new here, I present content to help men present their best selves. If that intrigues you, subscribe if you're so inclined. All right, let's talk about Belgian slippers. Yeah, slippers, very expensive slippers. Let me explain why I say that. Now, when you first buy Belgian shoes or slippers, as they say, they do not come with a rubber sole. They just come with this leather sole and you have to wear them for a, like a little bit of a limited time and you make sure you break them in and they conform to your foot and actually wear off a little bit of the leather. That's right, calf skin leather on the bottom, so and then you take it to a cobbler and get this little thin sole glued to the bottom of the shoe. That's right, this little sole does not come with it. Now you can buy Belgian shoes with soles on them, but what's the fun in that, right? Also, there is only like one place in the world to buy them, and that is New York City. Now you're asking, why? Why go to this much trouble for a shoe? Now, first of all, personally, I am absolutely obsessed with minimal shoes. You can't get much more minimal than this. And that's my own obsession, might not be yours. But I think if you're watching this video, and especially if you've subscribed, you know that I believe style is most alluring when it is specific. And there's something about a style being this very specific and this well-made and this high of fashion that makes you want to, I don't know, it makes you want to rock it, especially if it is your style. Like if you love minimal shoes, if you love loafers, if you love this kind of sleek, you know, uh, dare I say, waspy look. But yeah, if that is what you are going for, you can't get much more specific than this. Now, a little history on this. Um, a Henry Bendel, I guess he owned, uh, a department store and I'm, I'm kind of familiar with it. He sold that department store in like 1955 and established this little shoe boutique after his nephew found these in Belgium. And he brought these back and he showed them to his, his uncle and he was like, oh my God, look at these shoes. These things are amazing. And he started this little boutique store in New York City. Um, fast forward to today, I think it's the Van Ecker sisters who are in Belgium, I think, that now run the factory in Belgium, and um, I think they might even own the store. They seem like they're the, uh, the, the main owners of everything. I know they're running the factory in Belgium, but this is pretty much the only place that they hand make these shoes. Um, I think they even use piano wire in them. Uh, the, the craftsmanship is ridiculously high quality, and of course, handmade shoes. This bow is like something that is made in Belgium I'm pretty sure by hand or some ridiculous thing. Obviously, this is one of the, the main calling signs of the shoe. And, and it takes and it takes a lot to wear a, a shoe with a, with a bow on it. But again, that is what's so amazing about them. And that is what's so specific about them. You can buy them online. That That's absolutely possible. And, but I wish, I wish I could have taken you with me when I bought these. I've had these for five years now, I think. Maybe even longer. No, longer, because yeah, I got them when Arthur was a baby. So yeah, about five years. And 
I went to New York City. I, I couldn't order this expensive of a shoe online and it's just expected to show up, especially uh, like I just described to you, you have to break them in, you have to get a, a cobbler. So I knew I would have to try them on in the store. And and my wife is from New Jersey. And, and so we took a trip out there and went to New York City. And it was, <laughs> I was like a kid and uh, just anticipating this trip and enjoying it. And it was a big purchase for me. I do not spend this money on shoes. I, I seldom do. I guess they just renovated the store. Uh, so is that a reason to visit New York? Yes, it is. So I'm looking forward to that and I think that is a future video. Probably haven't answered the question quite yet, should you buy expensive shoes? Obviously, I believe yes. And I'm gonna tell you why. The reason why you should buy something very expensive is because it's exclusive, because it's a very specific style that's gonna bring you joy, because you want to invest in it and wear it for a long period of time. So obviously nothing trendy. That would just be uh, defeating the point. I think if you buy something that is this highly crafted and that you love and the style is so specific, yes, buy the expensive shoe, save up the money. Now think about it, you could have five pairs of loafers that are, you know, medium priced that you, you know, you like and you can choose from them or you could have one pair, one pair that you absolutely love and that you're gonna wear for a long period of time. And I, I really do believe in that. Now, I have to admit there is some downsides to these, these specifically and expensive shoes in general. One of the downsides is the fact that they are expensive. The Belgian slippers are $490. I feel like I spent less, I don't know why. But yeah, $490, that was a chunk of money for me. I was, I was astounded by that. But in defense of these, defense of my Belgian slippers, um, I look at the Prada horse bit loafer, that one with the you know real soft leather and, and, and the back can fold down. I actually tried them on in my first shoe video and I love those shoes. I'm obsessed with those shoes. I want a pair of those shoes. Those are uh, $730 starting and I think you know right on, right on up to $830. So, you know, in comparison, eh, that's not that bad, right? <laughs> I think it's all relative, right? You gotta hit me up in the comments, what's the most you've ever spent on a pair of shoes? Um, and, and be honest. <laughs> so what are other downsides of these shoes? They are calfskin. So there's that. Bernie Madoff wore them, the guy who did the Ponzi scheme. That's right, they actually auctioned off a whole lot of them. I think he had more than 10 pairs. So pretty excessive if you ask me. Another downside is I've noticed whenever I buy something very, very expensive, I like to protect it and I do not wear it. So that is a downside. And don't be like me, make sure you wear your expensive stuff. Wear them out, that's what they're supposed to be. Um, if you get a stain on them, so what? That means you've been wearing them, right? So have these brought me joy? Absolutely. Should you buy expensive shoes? Of course, I believe the philosophy here, and you've known it before if you've watched some videos, that you buy stuff to keep for a long period of time. I do think, obviously, saying investing in your wardrobe is a little excessive, but buying stuff that you really think you're gonna enjoy and keep for a long period of time is really key. Tell me in the comments what you think, give me your opinions. Also like this video and watch this video right here. This was my first video I made on shoes. And it's one of my favorite videos. It was pretty fun to make. All right, my name is Timothy Sands. This is my story of fashionable father. Always remember, never forget, style first. Mwah.